And exciting news, the Formula One race is coming to Hudson County next June. Port Imperial Boulevard in both Weehawken and West New York will be transformed into the newest Formula One course where racing cars will compete at speeds of over 200 miles per hour. 100,000 racing fans are expected to flock to the Garden State for the big event. We're very excited about it. Uh, it'll be sometime the second half of June 2013. It'll be the first race. Um, it's a, it's, it was put together with the Formula One people, West New York and Weehawken. Um, but we're involving everybody, everybody we can. We're involving our neighboring communities, North Bergen, Guttenberg, Union City, Hoboken, Jersey City, um, the counties involved. From the state level on down, from the governor's office on down, they're doing everything they can to foster it. Um, it's a big economic drive, you know, brings a lot of money in. Um, and we're trying to make sure a lot of that money stays in Hudson County. And um, it also brings great attention and, and, uh, and um, a variety of spin-off activities to the area. What roads will the track be going down? Um, well, uh, it'll be starting off at the bottom of Pershing, at the ferry terminal mm -hmm. on uh, Port Imperial Boulevard. It'll go south to what we call Pershing Road, which is a which is an incline road, up to Boulevard East at 48th Street. Go down, uh, head north on 48th Street to 60th Street. Um, go down Hillside Avenue uh, mm -hmm. uh, to River Road, the intersection of River Road and Port Imperial Boulevard. Turn right onto Port Imperial, uh, Port Imperial Boulevard and go right back to the ferry terminal. So this road right in front will be one of the main roads. You have New York City as a backdrop, but you also have the elevated area of Boulevard East, mm -hmm. which is 170, 180 feet above the waterfront. And then you have the waterfront. So they compare it to Monte Carlo in terms of uh, it goes through residential streets, na neighborhood streets. Uh, Monte Carlo's got, got the higher elevations and the lower elevations, so they're very excited about it. And as far as the residents who are worried about the traffic situation, what advice would you give them? Well, you know, we do 4th of July. We deal with 4th of July up here. We get thousands, tens of thousands of people come to watch the fireworks, and we close off our streets, and we let residents in and their guests and everything. So we'll set up a similar system. Um, but remember, we live in an area that's got a lot of traffic. We have the Lincoln Tunnel from Monday to Friday, which 150,000 vehicles go through the Lincoln Tunnel, and many of them go on local roads. So we, we will adjust to the traffic. Um, but you gotta, most of the traffic will be from our own people coming here because, again, they're going to park in the Meadowlands. They're going to take the light rail system. They're going to take the ferry system. And you're not going to get here unless you have a mass transit ticket. That's one thing that the organizers are very firm about. You buy a ticket, you better come here by bus, light rail, or ferry. Mm -hmm. So for the people that are coming from, from another area, it's, it's, it's going to be very tightly controlled. We'll have walk-ins. We'll have lots of people walking in to see the pub, you know, in the, along the streets and everything to see, see what the uh, race is like. Um, and we're going to feel our way through it. And the good thing is every expense to our neighboring communities and we Hawk in West New York has will be reimbursed by the race organizers. It's not costing the taxpayers one penny. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a few events. Most places they go, the, the, the host community pays for the privilege of having the race. Mm -hmm. You know, we told them that, you know, we're, we're New Jersey and budgets are tight, and uh, so, so everything has to be reimbursed. Um, but we're trying to get people, when they come in here, not to go right home. Mm -hmm. You know, they have this, they're setting up this whole transportation network that where people park out in the Meadowlands, and they'll be bussed into the waterfront and then bust out again. And we're trying to get them to stay, come either before or stay later, visit the restaurants, stay in the hotels in Jersey City, Hoboken, Sea Caucus, you know, not just run in and run out. Um, so, and there's also spin-off events, like, oh, you know, we're going to use some of the events to raise money for our different, our, our, our school organizations, our libraries, our first aid squads, so that, so that it can benefit the whole community. Now, will Hudson County TV have full access behind the we'll scenes? We'll make sure. We will make sure Hudson County TV has <laughs> full access. <laughs> you have that on film. <laughs> they have a whole media system, and you'll be part of the media system. Make sure you don't miss your chance to see the race firsthand by ordering tickets ahead of time. For Hudson County TV, I'm Michelle Latour.